in this problem we have been given so what i am doing here is i am writing this sin theta as cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta is sin theta now when cos theta equals to cos alpha theta can be written as 2n pi plus minus alpha that is where n belongs to any integer so we are having is it clear to all of you now i am dividing both sides by root 2 we get if i take plus minus common is it clear to all of you 1 by root 2 i am replacing it by cos 45 degrees so cos pi by 4 cos theta and 1 by root 2 here is sin pi by 4 sin theta is it clear okay now this can be written as cos cos a cos b plus minus sin a sin b can be written as cos a minus plus pi by 4 have you understood this because cos a cos b plus sin a sin b will give you cos a minus b and cos a cos b minus sin a sin b will give you cos a plus b that is why i have reversed this sign and I have written plus minus as minus plus, which is equals to, is it clear? Where n belongs to any integer. Okay? Proved. Let us move for the next problem. Here they have said that x is lying from 0 to pi as well as y is also lying from 0 to pi, and they have given cos x plus cos y minus cos x plus y is equals to 3 by 2. Okay. Now, what I am doing here is I am applying cos c plus cos t formula here. So, we are getting and cos x plus y can be written as 2 cos square x plus y by 2 minus 1. Is it clear? Now, let me multiply with 2 on both sides. I am taking everything in the right hand side we get. Is it okay to all of you? Okay. Now it can be written as so this part will give you by applying the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square it can be written as is it okay and this much will give you sin square x minus y by 2 equals to 0 now the sum of two squares is equals to 0 it implies individually they are equals to 0 this is equals to 0 and this is equals to 0 from here we are getting x minus y by 2 is 0 implies x is equals to y. Is it clear? And from this equation, we are going to get in place of x minus y by 2, I am writing 0. So, we are having, is it clear to all of you or not? I am doing it here. As x is lying from 0 to pi and y is lying from 0 to pi, so we can say that x plus y is lying between 0 and 2 pi. Am I correct? Therefore, x plus y by 2 is lying between 0 and pi. So, this x plus y divided by 2, this angle is lying either in the first or in the second quadrant. Now, as cos x plus y by 2 is half, that is, it is positive, hence it is lying in the first quadrant and its value is cos pi by 3 right so from here we can say 
x plus y by 2 is nothing but pi by 3. So, that implies x plus y is 2 pi by 3, right? Now, as x and y are equal, therefore, x will be equals to y equals to pi by 3. Have you understood it? So, proved. Is it clear? Let us move for the next problem. This problem is same as the previous one with a different flavor. So, let us start the problem. We have been given that 2 into sin x plus sin y minus 2 cos x minus y equals to 3. So, we are applying sin c plus sin d formula. We are getting and cos x minus y, I am writing it as. So, we are having Take everything in the right hand side, we are getting. I am adding a sin square x plus y by 2. And at the same time, I am subtracting sin square x plus y by 2. So, it gets nullified equals to 0. Is it clear to all of you? Okay. Now, again, the sum of 2 square numbers is equals to 0. It implies individually they are equals to 0. So, we are having and so that implies we have to find out the least values of x and y. Therefore, x plus y by 2 will be equals to. So, we are having x plus y as pi. And from the second equation, we are having which is cos pi by 3 because we are in the search of finding the least positive values of x and y. Remember it. So, from here we are getting, is it okay to all of you? Now, just by solving these two equations, we are going to get the values of x and y. So, if we add it up, the corresponding sides, we are going to get x is 5 pi by 6 and your y will be pi minus 5 pi by 6, that is pi by 6. Is it clear? Therefore, the least positive values of x and y are 5 pi by 6 and pi by 6 respectively. Clear to all of you? Move for the next problem. Here they have said that prove the system of equations x minus y which is 2 pi by 3 and cos x plus cos y equals to 3 by 2 does not have any real solution. Is it clear? Does not have any real solution. Okay. Now you see cos x plus cos y is 3 by 2. As we all know that the maximum value of cos x is 1. Therefore, this equation is valid. This equation is valid only when either cos x is 1 and cos y is half. This is one possibility or cos x is half and cos y equals to 1 because you have to assign the value 1 either for cos x or cos y to get their sum as 3 by 2. Remember it. Okay. Now, let me consider the first case when cos x is 1 and cos y is half. So, what we are getting here? It is 2n pi and from here we are getting, right? Therefore, x minus y will give you, is it clear to all of you, right, where n and k are both integers. Now, we are having x minus y as 2 pi by 3 which is given to us. So, this can be written as 2 pi by 3, right. So, what we are getting from here, pi, pi and pi goes off. So, we are having Okay, so, so from here we are getting 2 times n minus k equals to either 1 or 1 third. Yes or no? So, from both of this, you are getting n minus k as either half or 1 by 6. Now, in both the cases, it is not possible. Why? Because n and k are both integers. Now, when you subtract two integers, it will never give you a fraction. 
is it clear so from this condition you are getting no solution right let us consider the second case in the second case also you are going to get the same thing just check it in this case also you are going to get the same value so i will not do it i am just doing it for one step so this one will give you is it clear this will be equal to 2 pi by 3 because they have given that x minus y is 2 pi by 3 so from this again you are going to get the equation like this one okay so again from this equation also you are not going to get any real solution is it clear to all of you have you understood it hence proof okay move for the next problem here two equations are given now you see we have to find out the general value of theta so here phi is the foreign element so we have to remove phi so for that what we are doing we are taking the help of the second equation from there we can write that implies so that implies is it clear or not so we are having 10 square phi as half from the first equation we are having is it clear now i'm replacing 10 square phi by half we are getting cos 2 theta i am breaking it in 2 cos square theta minus 1 which is equals to 1 only so from there we are getting so either cos theta equals to minus 2 or cos theta equals to half but cos theta equals to minus 2 is an impossible equation because we know that cos theta always lies between minus 1 and 1. So cos theta is half means cos theta equals to cos pi by 3 that implies theta equals to 2n pi plus minus pi by 3. Is it clear? This is the general value of theta. Right? 